Hi everyone, it's JJ. So, a quick question. How would you blow up a balloon like this without using your breath or a balloon pump? Well, let me tell you how we do it with chemical reactions. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, let's get our science on. So, you've probably noticed I'm wearing goggles for today's experiment, and that's just because we're using vinegar, which is an acid. So I want to make sure that if anything happens, nothing gets in my eyes. You also want to make sure to do this experiment with a grown-up. Now you're only going to need a few things for this experiment. A third of a cup of vinegar in a bottle, just like this one. You're also going to need two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda. And you can get that from most supermarkets. You're going to need a balloon, of course because we're going to be inflating that balloon and a funnel so that we can put the bicarbonate of soda into the balloon. Now, a quick note on how this all works. So, vinegar is an acid. Now, the bicarbonate of soda is a base. Now, when these two substances are combined together, they react in a crazy way and what they do when they react together is they bubble and fizz and they release carbon dioxide co2 gas now as we're going to be putting the balloon over the top of the bottle when this reaction occurs there's nowhere for the carbon dioxide to escape so what does it do it does the only thing it can it's going to inflate the balloon. So we're going to see how far the balloon inflates today with what we've got here. Now, if you're going to repeat this at home, you can play around with the quantities of these a little bit, and that will have an effect on the balloon. It might make it inflate smaller or larger. So let's get into it, shall we? So I've got my bottle here. So now what I need to do is get the bicarbonate of soda into the balloon. So I'm going to stretch this pink balloon over the funnel, just like that. And I'm going to hold it just so it doesn't snap off and fly away whilst I pour in the bicarbonate of soda. So in we go. And there we go. So it's now inside the balloon. I'm going to give it a little shake to make sure it's all out of the funnel and all inside the balloon. And then I'm just going to pinch the balloon and slide it off of the funnel. There we have it. So we're now done with the funnel and the cup. So this is all we have and this is all we really need. So then what we need to do is put the balloon over the neck of the bottle without any of the bicarbonate of soda falling in. So I'm just going to pinch the neck of the balloon like that as we stretch it over, pinch, and now we're good to go. So we just need to make sure that the bottle and the balloon are firmly attached. And then comes the exciting part. Are you ready, everyone? We're going to let the bicarbonate of soda fall into the bottle and we're going to watch the balloon inflate. You ready? Let's count down from three. Three, two, one. And shake. Oh, wow, can you see it fizzing? Oh, what's happening to the balloon? Wow, can you see that everyone? The gas is rising up and it's got nowhere else to go other than the balloon. What an incredible sight to see. So as you can see here, the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda are reacting and rising up and fizzing and pushing that carbon dioxide up into the balloon. Wow, that's really impressive. 
and so simple that you can do this at home as well. Wow, that's fantastic. Now what you'll notice is after a while, you can start to see it here, it's gonna start fizzing back down again. But this carbon dioxide has been created, so it should stay inflated for some time after it's all settled down again. Now when you're ready, you can obviously take the balloon off and let the air out. The air might be a little bit stinky and smell like vinegar, but that's okay, and you can get rid of that balloon afterwards. But then you could rinse out the bottle and repeat the experiment again and again, messing around with different quantities of each ingredient. Now that balloon's got pretty big. I don't think it's gonna get much bigger, but what a great success that experiment was, everyone. I hope you had fun today watching me do this experiment, but I hope that you can repeat this experiment at home and get some incredible results yourselves. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something about chemical reactions today, everybody. Take care and check out our other science experiment videos and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon.